guys. Don't you just love that card? We're going to go ahead and get started on it, and I'm going to show you how I made it. Um, the materials I used was um, fresh fig for your card base. It's an A2 size card, so it's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then you're also going to need a piece of Whisper White, which is cut at five and a quarter by four. And then a piece of scrap paper. This one here is cut at five and a quarter by four. You can use any kind you want. I chose a colored one because I'm going to be laying this on top of the white. So um, I just want to make sure I can see exactly where it's going to lay. You also will need uh, sticky notes, just one, and you want the ones that are have the stickiness on the full note. You also will need your framelits, layering framelits. I'm using this one of the circles and one of the ovals today. You also are going to need the Graveyard Gate stamp set. This is out of the um, holiday catalog. And you also will need some sponge daubers. You also will need your Big Shot machine, your heating tool, and the ink pads we're using today are Night of Navy, Fresh Fig, Basic Black, Always Artichoke, and you're also going to need your Versamark. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you how I made this card. So you're just going to take your card, fit, your fresh fig card base, and we're just going to use our bone folder to kind of give that a nice crease. Then we're going to set that aside and we'll work on that later. So we're going to use out of the layering squares, or I'm sorry, the layering oval framelits, we're going to use the seventh smallest one. So I always count the smallest as my first one and count outwards. So this one here will be the one we're going to use. It's not the biggest, it's the next one in. So we're going to use that framelit and we're going to use out of the circling layering framelits, we're going to use the second one. So out of, again, I count down, this would be the smallest, this is the second smallest. So you're just going to use those two. So the first thing you're going to do is take your sticky note. I already cut one out earlier. Um, but you're just going to lay it down sticky side down and again your sticky note should be uh, a full sheet of stickiness. And we're just going to cut this out. So I just used the magnetic platform to cut this out and then you're just going to take the circle and we're going to use that on our card. So the next part here is where we're going to make our hill in the card here. How we're going to make these two humps here. So I just kind of took my oval thinlet and kind of placed it a little above halfway um, kind of in the corner a little bit just to give it that hill hump there like a hill would have and then we're not going to run this completely through the big shot you're going to run it through until you hit the top of that and then you're going to back it out so it does not cut all the way through so what you're going to essentially have is it it's going to be partially cut just like so then you're going to take your thinlet and you're going to position it over on the other side again trying to make the hump of the hill and then you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to run it partially through you don't want it to cut all the way through the paper So you'll get something like this. This will be your, your hill. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of Whisper White cardstock. You're going to lay it down on some scrap paper. And we're going to take your um, two pieces of the cutout scrap paper here. And you're going to figure out how where you want your hills to be. So that's probably perfect line it up at the corners there and then this whole area will be your hill area I didn't tape it down I just lined it up at my corners here and then I just held it so you're gonna take your always artichoke ink pad in a sponge dauber 
and you're just going to start lightly off. I always try to go lightly off because you can always add more on. And then you just hold this down on your, your um, Whisper White. And this is going to be the border of your um, where your hills are going to sit. So once you have your hills all framed out, you can just lift this and then just finish color in, coloring in this with your Always Artichoke. So the next thing you're going to do is just take the circle that you cut out and just kind of place it over here in the corner up here. And then we're going to start inking um, the top up here. So now what you're going to want to do is take the bottom piece that you cut out and you're going to line it up here and do your inking here. So we're going to kind of just line it up where the green is. And what you want to do is just bring it down slightly below your um, mountain line so you don't get a white line there. So if you just bring it down slightly below, you'll see if you line it up right on top, you're going to get a white line and you don't want that. So just bring it down just a little tiny bit so there's just a little border of the always artichoke on your card. And you can tape it down if you want. If you want to use some washi tape or something to tape it down, you can do that. You can use some scotch tape, whatever you want to do and to hold it there, or you can just hold it. But this is, I'll just tape it down just to show you guys that, you know, you can do that if you want. So then the next colors you're gonna use is going to be Night of Navy and Fresh Fig. So you're gonna take your Fresh Fig and again, another sponge dauber. And I take my daubers and I label them the color with just a piece of regular paper and I just put some tape over them and then I'll I'll use this for the same color all the time. So you're just going to go ahead and you want to definitely go off the paper first with this, get it nice and light and then just look, work little circular motions around your moon. And then the next color will be Night of Navy, and that will finish off your card. And again, you're going to use a sponge dabber, and then just go off the paper. So before I remove anything, I'm just going to take a wipe and just wipe off my hands just to remove any ink that I might have on them. And then I'm just going to take the card base out and you'll see it'll look like this. And then you just want to peel your um, moon off of there and there you have it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Knight of Navy and I'm going to kind of blend it in a little bit more with my hill there. So once you've done the blending that you're happy with, um, I just will take my sponge daubers and I'll just rinse them off with some warm soapy water and then let them air dry. And now we just go ahead and get creative and have a little fun with this stamp set. And just set up your scene however you want it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp my scene on here. One tip before you start stamping. I noticed with the stamp set, um, I wanted the tombstones really dark and I wanted the bats and the crows really dark. So I noticed that when I would ink them up with the black and get a lot of ink on them and I press down, no matter how lightly I press down, I would get some ink on the red rubber and I would have lines. 
So I took my scissors and I trimmed as close as I could to the um, tombstones. So now I don't have that issue. So if you find that you're stamping and you're getting lines, just trim up your stamps and that'll help cut back on those lines. You won't have those lines again. And you're not going to hurt your stamps. You're just trimming off some of that extra red rubber around the stamp that you don't need in there. So we're just going to stamp out the Have a Haunted Halloween on here once you get your scene all stamped out. And again, I took and I trimmed the red rubber around this stamp because I was having a heck of a time. Every time I stamped it, I would get the um, lines around there. So again, if that's something you guys might want to think about doing if you're having trouble with any of your stamps. We're going to use the Versamark ink pad. And what I always like to do is take my Emboss Buddy and just kind of give it a, a quick rub to get all the static off so your uh, powder is not sticking everywhere. And then you're just going to ink this up with some Versamark ink. I kind of just stamped it right towards the top here in this blue area. And then you're just going to take your silver Emboss Powder and just put that on the top. Then we're just going to glue this to our fresh fig. You can use um, whatever kind of adhesive you have. I'm going to use Fast Fuse. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware. But Stamping Up is celebrating World Card Making Day between now and October 10th. If you make a purchase of uh, Fast Fuse, they are $10, you'll get two free refills um, with every Fast Fuse you buy. So that's a super deal. They also are giving 15% off uh, note cards and envelopes and certain stamp sets so I'll leave that information in the link of the video it's a super good deal right now going on um, like I said it's going on through the 10th so you have a small window frame to take advantage of that but uh, fast fuse is very great adhesive it's very very sticky so the key to fast fuse is to just apply light pressure and then when you get to the end don't pull up with it, just kind of off to the side with it. So there's the card. Super cute. I love the way it turned out. It looks very spooky for Halloween. So I'll leave all the information in the link of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.